Hello, this is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, talking to you on Tuesday at 2. Hello, just made it back in time. I had a little, I was running around all morning and wait till you see my nails. They're really cool. Not like anything I would normally do. But you know, I make so many decisions. When I go to have my nails done, I just um, tell her to do whatever she wants. And so I usually, she picks the color, whatever's been left on her desk from other clients. And, and today she did some... <laughs> It's a pretty while for me. Hello, Trudy. How are you? <laughs> Thank you for joining me. So I have some fun things to share with you this morning, um, or this afternoon. It's afternoon already, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have been playing with the stamp set game on. It's the one that has the cards and the, the chess pieces and that kind of thing. It's such a fun, fun set. And so um, after you see the card, I think you're gonna be like, I need that set. It's a really great set. Um, I had a request to do more man cards. Um, I, the One of the cards we're gonna do is um, the layered angled um, strip piecing technique. And uh, I had a customer that wanted a man um, thank you card. You know, we do a lot of thank you cards, but they're flowery and fun. And you know, so she needed one um, for her husband. So I said, okay, Next Kismet class, I will have one. So um, that's, I haven't put it together, so I'm gonna do that with you um, today. So I have all the pieces, but I haven't made one, so you won't see it ahead of time. But I also have this really cool card, um, Game On, and I will chat with you about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn the camera around. If y'all are on, um, say hi. I know Cindy's gonna watch later. Sorry, Cindy, she had to work. Um, I say hi to Pam, say hi to June, all my people that are coming on later. Um, hello, y'all. Thank you for joining. Um, please share the video. Please go on YouTube. We are uh, at 140 people subscribing on YouTube. So I'm very proud of that. That's really fun. Um, so um, pass the word. Pass the word. That helps me a lot. And um, just, um, yeah, go to the website. Um, check out the new website. Well, Cindy, I didn't think you were going to be able to watch. Hello, Cindy. <laughs> Cindy, Trudy's on too. So, okay, I'm going to turn it around and let's get started having fun. So, ta-da, Cindy's here. <laughs> Me too, I just made it here. Literally, 2 o'clock, boom, in my seat. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to turn it around and we will get started. I think what I'm going to do first is, um, I know I talked first about the game on. Um, set, but I think what I'm going to do, I'll move that up, is the strip piecing. I think people have done that. I have a couple of little tips, and that card, I don't know how it's going to end up because I didn't finish the card. I just put pieces in my um, pieces together. So I am using on both cards uh, today this stamp set. It's called Mini Mates. And it is great because it covers everything. Um, thank you, thinking of you, get well, anniversary, birthday, retirement. If you don't have, I, I'm a big uh, fan of word sets. This is a great one to have. And then it has all these little outline words that you could color in. So you can leave them as is or color them in. So a lot of versatility, a lot of nice, interesting fonts. This is a really great set, all around set. So we're going to use that on both cards. And also on my um, card that I'm using for the strip piecing, I'm using the Tasteful Labels dies. Um, they, these are like useful, useful. They have interesting, some of them are stitched, some of them have lines. Um, th this one has stitching and like a zigzag line. So very interesting when they cut out, they have some texture to them and they layer up nicely. So um, that's one of them I'm gonna be using and I'll list that on my, um, on my site, Stamping Journey, uh, later. So here we go, let's get started. I'm gonna put, so I have just pieces. I don't have anything to show you. I have pieces. So this was supposed to be a man thank you card, right? So I decided, decided, I decided, <laughs> I decided that I would go with this um, In Good Taste suite because it has this interesting um, patterns. Some of them look like tile, some of them look like uh, fabric, wood grains, 
wood um, strips, brick, plaster. It's kind of an interesting thing. So I have three pieces here and I have this cut two and a half by six and I'm going to bring my cutter in here. Let's see. I hope that you can, you'll be able to see this here. I can go up that far. There we go. Hello, Tracy. Yay. So you guys, when you go to my wonderful, fabulous website, uh oh, <laughs> good Trudy. I'm glad you're back. When you go to my fabulous website, Tracy, who's on watching, is the one who designed it for me. Our wonderful monkey cut logo and our Stampin' Up, Stamping Journey logo does fabulous work. So, okay, I have, this is two and a half by six, and I just put all three of them together, okay? And I'm going to put them, this is my cutting line here, this dark line here. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to put it in there at an angle. So I'm just tipping it, and I'm going to cut it. Now, my tip to you is when you start out, you want this straight flat line. So this piece, the first piece and the last piece, just kind of keep separate. I kept that together, so I have that true straight piece. There we go. <clears throat> and then you're just going to tip, kind of just tip and cut. There's no, no rhyme or reason, right? You can do whatever you want. You're going to move these all around. So I'm just kind of going back and forth and cutting. And I'm just going to have a whole bunch of wild, crazy strips. Let me get this one out of here. I'm going to cut one more. I'm going to put these three back together. Put my cake back together here. This way. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to cut one more strip. So <clears throat> this is totally, totally random. You're just cutting at an, at an angle and cutting all these different pieces out. And then they all go together. Here's my end piece I'm going to put over here and take this out of the way. All right. So now I have all these different strips. I have three different patterns, which means I have six patterns. I have three pieces. The pattern is different on each side. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these onto a base, um, a base piece. So I have right here. Um, early espresso, I decided. Early espresso, and this is cut five by uh, five by three and three quarters. A couple of things that you can do with this um, starting out. You want to start out and have your straight edge along a straight edge. I'm going to go lengthwise. I did them longer today because if you wanted to go at an angle, you could do all of them at an angle. You don't have to just go straight on. Today for this one, I'm just going to hit it straight on. So I'm, this is my straight edge. I'm gonna glue this on to my um, base piece here. These are gonna hang off the edges. At the end, I know that this edge is straight and all these other edges will be cut off. So let's hope I have glue in here because I didn't grab a new glue. So um, what I do is I just put my glue right on the base. Whoops, oh, there we go, thank you. <laughs> I was a little worried there for a minute. Um, I just put it on here, and I'm going against that uh, that base edge, that straight edge there. So I'm covering up the whole early espresso. Now, now I'm just going to play with it. I'm just going to take these pieces and lay them out, um, different angles, different sides. This one can go this way. It could go up over this way. And then you can either put them um, like this, where you have a little bit of the base showing through, or you can push them tight together. So it depends on the look you want. Um, if you want that more of a kind of a tile look and grouting look, you can put um, leave the space in between, like you'd leave just a little bit or butt them up next to each other. So however you wanna do it, it's kinda interesting, the different um, textures. Come back here, okay, it's moving all over. What I did was I sort of played with it and decided what pieces I wanted where, and then I um, 
and then I glued them down. So I didn't want, you know, stuff too close to each other. The same piece. There we go. And then you're going to cut it out. So I think in this case, we are going to go ahead and leave a gap in between. So I kind of like that layout. So I'm just going to pull those aside, put my adhesive right here on the base, and then put my designer paper right over the top of my glue, leaving that little even um, grout line there. So again, we're going to just draw a line. I think this time I'm going to pull over this brick, though. I like this brick color. And you can go up farther if you want more of the thin to, you know, show. It's just kind of back and forth, back and forth. There we go. And more adhesive. And with my, I love, you know, I'm a big fan of the green glue. And this is one of the reasons why, because I can move it around and I have a little wiggle room yet. I'm gonna put this piece here and change it up. I like this kind of tweedy fabric looking piece. There we go. Okay, a little more. Better get some of this light wood in here. There we go. Goes together really fast. So this is one of the things. So you pick out a couple of different patterns that you like. You can see I'm not gonna use all of this up. So it's one of those unending things. So you can just keep using the pieces over and over, putting more in. Let's see here. What do I want? Do I wanna start and stop with the same? I could do that. I like that. Okay, we're gonna sort of put that right there. Um, and then add it to other ones. So you just kind of keep going with it. It's one of those unending things. So there we go. I have my piece covered. You can see on the back side where it has gone over the edge. So I'm gonna put these over here. I'm gonna bring my cutter back in here. I know that this edge is straight. So I'm gonna put it down here, line this up at the top here and I'm just gonna cut all those little wings off. Ta-da, there we go. Again, this is uh, three and three quarters, so I know that. I'm just gonna cut that straight, cut off all my little wings, and this is five inches. There, ta-da. And voila, you have an interesting piece. Not a lot of waste, really. There's not a lot of waste. And I have this cool piece of my own design. So I decided I would back this in the early espresso also. So I had cut that already. And then I wanted to put, this is gonna be a thank you card. So I used my dies from the Tasteful Labels dies which that is the set that, um, the dies that go with this paper, the DSP. And I have a couple of them here, kind of layered up. I use, to go along with this, I use the gray granite. Gray granite is a great neutral. Um, I think sometimes people forget to use that one. We have basic gray and smoky slate and um, those colors, but the gray granite is a little bit kind of, kind of gray with a touch of brown in it. So that's what the base of the card is going to be. So it's going to go like this and go right on there. Ta-da. That's how it's going to look. Now I can decide whether I want my darkest piece. I think I want the darkest piece to be at the bottom and show kind of a base like that. Okay. I'm going to stamp my words. Now this is using the Mini Mates stamp set. I'm using Early Espresso, since that was the color I used for my layering. And I'm going to stamp this little verse on here. Straighten this out. Dot, dot, dot. Tap, tap, tap. Please get it straight. Ah, it worked. You know what, I, I am a little bit, I cheated a little and I had one on the side just in case I didn't, but 
but it worked. It's okay. It's all good. All right. And then my, my inside piece. So I have just thinking of you and I'm going to layer that on top of this gray granite. And then for the inside, I just have thanks. But to make it more interesting, I'm going to stamp this. There we go. And I'm going to take a piece of my paper here. And I'm just going to glue that on the edge of this. And then I can just snip that off with my scissors. So I'm just going to kind of put a base on it. So again, I'm going to apply the glue to my base instead of that little strip that I have to pick up and, you know, hold because I know I would get my fingers in it. There we go. And wiggle that down so it covers it completely. Come on, there we go. Ta-da. There, all set. And then I'm going to take my scissors, which got put away here. Here it is. Put that one, this one. There's my little paper snips. And I'm just going to snip that away. So you see there's not too much waste in here. There we go. And I'm going to glue this on to an early espresso piece. This is a pretty snappy card, but do you, I think that this would be beautiful, this technique, Christmas cards with all different uh, Christmas paper, the floral cards, you know, with all the different floral papers. Um, I like the things that have a smaller pattern because obviously they show up better when you're doing all these just little skinny strips, but um, I think it's, yeah, that's a nice, um, I think it's a fun technique. I'm going to glue this to the inside, get it out of my way, and then I have to decide what I'm going to do on the front because while I have that verse, I thought I would add some of the suede um, ribbon that goes with this In Good Taste suite. There we go. Look at how nice that looks. That is a perfect man thank you card. I love that. Okay, I'm going to put this on here. So it's kind of a heavy card because you have two backings, but you know, I have to have it layered. It's just a necessity in my world. There we go. And when you put this on here, it makes those lines kind of pop. You know, it's you don't see them right away, but now it has that black continuous. And I like it layered. You could, you know, put it on the base, but then you'd have to have all the pieces cut, right? No, you have to do it in two pieces. I think it looks better. I'm gonna, before I put that on, I'm gonna put these two together because I have to decide what I'm gonna do with my, I wanted to have a little bit of that textured um, ribbon in here. So these two pieces layer up so nice. Instead of all the layers having the same shape, it's kind of fun to have a little bit different shape on there. And that will pop out. We're gonna, of course, have that popped up. But if you haven't seen this um, suede, early espresso suede ribbon, it's really nice. I think we're just gonna put like a little tag off of here like this. We're gonna do one of those little tabs. I'm just gonna go like this, cut this here and here, not to snip my finger off, there we go. I'm gonna take my glue dots. I'll put a glue dot in the center here so I can fold it on itself. That'll make it easier for me. Here we go, come on, look. Look at my nails. I forgot to say that. I feel like Wonder Woman. She did one blue one. <laughs> she she goes, how about red sparkle? I said, well, okay. And then, and then she pulled out that blue and I was like, what are you doing with the blue? She said, well, you have to have one blue nail. Okay, I didn't know that, but okay. So Heidi did it. She put it together for me. <laughs> so now I'm like sparkly, sparkly. Red sparkles and then she even put little stars on the blue one. So I'm ready for 4th of July when the kids come. 
I'll be like the cool grandma. Here we go. I'm just going to put this, put it down here like that. Just like that. So the glue dots will hold that on. Then we'll use our dimensionals. My friend, the dimensionals. Put that on here. And also, I'm putting the dimensionals on for two reasons. One, it's nice to have something bumped up. It gives your card more interest. And also, there's some bulk here from the ribbon um, being folded over because it's not a real thin ribbon. So this kind of takes that up. So we're just going to put this off to the side. So those of you that want to come to Kismet class, July Kismet class, this is one of the cards we will be making. There, ta-da. So you'll get those extra pieces. That'll be fun for you to take home and make something else with. Look at that. We're going to glue this on, and we're all done. Ta-da, ta-da. Fold this over. I love the gray granite in here. Don't forget about that color, you guys. Gray granite. Keep that in your wish list because it's a wonderful neutral that I think sometimes gets underutilized. There. Just thinking of you. Thanks. Man card. Yay. One, one down. Okay. Now we're going to play with Game On. Let's bring that over here. So I have all these, all these extra pieces. Look at it. We can make another whole card. So much fun. So just put them together with a lot of other pieces. All right, let me get my garbage out of the way here. My little snippets off there. And this is the next card that we're gonna do. We're gonna do this one, Game On. And so here is this stamp set, Game On. Does anybody have that? Hi, Patty. Hi, Terry. Yeah, I needed a good guy card. So that card I made into a thank you card but certainly would do well as a birthday card also. So, and I think this, would, this is a good birthday card too. So here's the game on. This, uh, the base of this card is Misty Moonlight. That is one of the new in colors. And the lining, usually I do opposite, right? I usually have the, the darkest um, lining, outlining the front of the card. But in this case, I switched it around and this is Seaside Spray. So that is one of our in colors that stayed from last year. Look at the beautiful comparison. They're both kind of like, I don't know, soft and powdery. Uh, this is a great color combination, the two blues. Seaside Spray and Misty Moonlight. And happy birthday. So here's that interesting, you could color that in um, from the Mini Mates stamp set. So there we go. So let's get started on this card. I have all my little pieces here cut out and ready to go. So I'm gonna start out with my um, Seaside Spray, which is the in color, one of the in colors that stayed from last year. And let's move this over here. And this uh, kind of fun piece looks like a board. Um, I could do it in red and black and have, have it in checkers. You know, there's a lot of kind of interesting things you could do with this. So I just kind of lined this up and went along the bottom. And I didn't, I didn't, um, like it's just random. That is what I'm trying to say. It's just random. I just went along the side. And really one, two, three, four of them go across the five inch piece. So there we go. So it doesn't have, you know, I didn't line, worry about lining everything up. It was okay, just like it is. So that goes on. And then I have my words in the misty moonlight. And those are gonna go right along this edge here. So um, th on this card, this is, this is what I was gonna do. I have two different cards here. So here's a birthday card. This calls for a huge celebration. Happy birthday, today is all about you. But one of the ones that come in the game on is this one, Lucky Me, because I have you. And I thought, well, that would be a good anniversary card to give your husband. 
So I decided that's what I would do on this card. So I took the lucky me because I have you and I took the happy anniversary from the mini mates for the inside of the card. And we're gonna make this into an anniversary card. So I have it as a birthday card or anniversary card. Versatile. So I'm just gonna put this on here. Ta-da. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the inside for my anniversary as long as I have my ink out here. Get all my stamping done. Let everything dry. And then we'll put it all together. Now I'm gonna just kinda eyeball this because I need to make sure I have it on straight. Oh, I, wow. It is right on the money. That was good. There we go. Ta-da. Okay. And maybe I'll go down this side with this one just to, so the inside isn't so plain. Just going to kind of eyeball it and go down the side of the card. Give it a little extra interest in the inside. Let that dry. And I am going to use the Misty Moonlight for my chess pieces. So here we go with that. Ink that up really good. And this is one of those, um, you get highlights, lights and darks in this particular stamp. So it looks like you've shaded it. Woohoo! Those those fingers. I'm, it's gonna take me a while. There we go. Ta-da! So now we have all of our stamping done. I'm gonna take my ink pads and close those up so I don't wear them. There we go. And I can go ahead and put the inside in. So I have it layered on the um, seaside spray. Get that piece out of my way, 50% done with the card. So this too, a nice, um, well it's anniversary, but it could be a nice birthday card, it could be anything. It could be a kid card. There we go. I think this is a fun set. I look forward to playing with some more. I made three cards with it this morning. So it, and they just kind of fell together. So three cards without trying to really stress myself about getting it done. And I thought any card that you can, stamp set you can do that with is one that you need in your, in your stash. Okay, so now here's my lucky me. We have to cut this one. So I used the shapes um, in here, the stitched shapes to cut out my horses, my chess pieces. Let me move my big shot over here. Ta-da! Look at how very well loved this is. Man, I cannot wait until I can get my hands on our new one. Coming soon to a stamp place near you. Stampin' Up! Pretty soon we're going to be able to order our new cutting machine and I am so looking forward to it. Not that this hasn't been a good workhorse, but something new is is um, well is welcome here. So here we go. Pull that away. Push that down. There we go. Put that over there. So this is the stitch shapes. This has been around forever. It is a staple. So you have squares, circles, and ovals. And it is a great um, die set to have. So what I did is I cut that one with the die and I cut this square uh, with the die. And then I cut this one just so that I had a nice thin layer on here. Uh, I wanted to accent a little bit more with our Misty Moonlight and make it pop. So I have like an eighth inch um, layering on that. So that's going to go on top of there. So this one is here. I'm going to take and put this layer on. See how fast this goes? Of course I had the pieces cut, but you know what? Um, the girls cut these pieces ahead of time. So I use the same basic uh, size 
all the time, so they cut that ahead. In fact, at the open house, and um, it and it is available that you know that they will cut for you. They have a, and it just makes it easier. So when you're sitting down to do anything, it's like okay, those pieces inside the front is all cut. This is the in color misty moonlight, the six by six. And what I did, I wanted the wood grain because it's a guy guy card. And I'm just making a really shallow snip in the center. And then I cut from the sides, the point, the edge here, corner, whatever this is called. There we go. And I just wanted a real narrow um, divot in here. So I didn't use my punch for that. All right, let's glue this down. Come on, glue, be my friend. I left a little bit of, the, oh, this is longer. This is too long. Wait a minute. Well, we're gonna do this and then I'm just gonna cut it off. I left a little bit down here and I left a little bit of the white showing. Apparently I didn't cut off the other end, but we're gonna leave that and we're just gonna cut it here. Adapt. There we go. Throw that away. That's gonna go all the way to the base. Okay, and then I glued my square down. So this is the largest um, stitched square from that set, from that die set. That's gonna go here, like that. And then my focus is going to be popped up on dimensionals. Where did I put them? Right here. Get all my little pieces out of the way. There we go. I'm gonna put one in the center just for good measure. There. So, do you have this stamp set? You're gonna want this stamp set. I think I should show my other uh, show my other cards that I did this morning with this stamp set because you're gonna need this one. I'm just telling you. Thank you, Lisa. You're gonna need this stamp set. There. Ta-da. Glued it right down to the paper. That's good, Cheryl. Okay. Let's put some adhesive on here. Glue this down. Ta-da! There. I always avoid like going right over where I just stamped, like the dark color here. So that's why I like to get my stamping done ahead, let it sit a minute, absorb into the paper. There we go. Lucky me because I have you. Happy anniversary. And then you probably have to put a gift card in there or something. Just guessing. I need to move this a little bit here. Ah, it's a little crooked. I'll move it later. <laughs> you see that? It's a little crooked. Sorry about that. Look at this. So, same card. Uh, this is a birthday anniversary. My other cards that I did this morning... I did this one using that same paper. Now, when we do this one, we'll, we'll end up doing this one in class. When we do it in class, I made this bottom piece of designer paper just a hair bigger. So when I put down my instructions, I cut that piece so it would be just about a quarter of an inch bigger so a little more of it showed. Um, this is the stitched so sweetly dies, these two pieces here. And I thought with the circle, the end like that, went well with this designer paper. And this is from the In Good Taste paper also. So here's this piece, this one, the front, and the inside. So I used a second stamping of the um, chess pieces. So it had just a very subtle background. And then the words over the top of it. So that was kind of fun. And then I did, oops, where's my other one? I have another one we're doing in class. Ladies, do you have the other card? No, I don't. The, the red one that you just cut for? Oh, yes, we do. 
I, I just want to show you one more. I want to show you the other one. So all three of these I did this morning. Okay, here's this one that we're going to do on, uh, oh, with my hostess club. It's your day. Roll with it. Ta-da! Red and black. Just classic, right? Red and black. And then I added a little sparkle with the ribbon and the red rhinestones. So hostess club members, this is one of the cards that you will be doing. So there we go. Super cute. There's my other card. Here's the other card we did today. So I'll put all these out here. Hopefully we get a nice copy of this. So this is my deal to you. Have a great 4th of July. Today is the last day if you want to join um, Stampin' Up! and get a free bundle. Today is the last day for that. If you would like to do that, you can go to stampingjourney.com and uh, learn about joining up and being able to pick up any of the bundles for free. For $99, you get $125 worth of product plus a business kit plus, ta-da, it's not over yet. Um, you get to pick any of our bundles that we have. Uh, most expensive one is $60 and 25 cents. So you might want to think about that. If there's a lot that you like in the new catalog, you immediately start getting a 20% discount when you place your orders. So that is my spiel to you. Also, if you decide that you cannot live without this cute little game on, if you go to my website, um, within the next two days and you purchase game on with anything else um, you will receive a PDF for two cards different than this so go ahead get get those things ordered and I would love to send you a PDF for some more cards that I have designed especially for um, our little game on session so I'm gonna turn the camera around here we go. I know, the dice are cute, right, Cindy? I think it's super cute. It's a fun, fun, fun set. So, there we go. I'm dialing, I'm dialing myself in. I got a haircut today, too. I played with the bangs a little bit, so she had to cut them a little bit shorter, so it's like, oh well, okay, no hair. That's pretty good. So, you love them, thank you. It was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the cards. I hope you go to the website. Everybody have a safe and wonderful 4th of July. Um, God bless America. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Uh, share and uh, check it out. Thank you. Bye-bye. Whoops. <laughs> I went to the wrong side. First, first day on the job.